And welcome back to the goo. I will get back to the gaw. I will get back to the goo goo. I will get back to the gaga. I will get back to the goons. Mama. I will get back to the goons goons. I will get back to the goons goons goons. I will get back to the goons 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 goons. I will get back to the goons 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 Oh, welcome back to the uh oh pshp da da na 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 pshp da da pshp da 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 pshp 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 da da pshp ah 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 <laughs> Autism's off the spectrum. Sayonara, we have, cocksuckers. We're in uncharted autistic territory. Yes. We, haven't, we haven't talked in a uh, week, so we uh, all got a lot of pent-up feelings. Uh, pent-up pent retardation. Uh, pent-up uh, fuck. I gotta, uh, I gotta uh, eat the nearest uh, rabbit. Rabbit? I gotta fuck a slug. I gotta, gotta get a slug from my back out. Fuck it. Okay. Is everyone feeling a little better? I gotta squash a kid. Walmart kid. <laughs> Don't do that, dude. I gotta stomp a feet. baby to death! I wanna, I wanna pick up a monkey by its head and swing it around! I wanna put a slug in my ass and let it simmer. I wouldn't mind having a piece of birthday cake myself. I wanna take a baseball bat and just set it on the ground and let it ferment! Ah! <laughs> I don't know if a baseball bat will just naturally <laughs> ferment. Man, I ate a baseball bat and now I'm drunk. Talking about that bitch 20 years, 20 years slow cooked baseball bat outside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You guys you watch know. baseball? I nope. No, some. The thing with the uh -huh. base and the balls. Nope. Well, there's a commercial where the there's a bat that's like cut in half and you can drink uh -huh. out of it because they like hollow out the concert. middle. And I think it looks fucking stupid. And every time I see that commercial, I'm you like, know what? Who that sounds fucking stupid. Is spending money is on a hollow bat you can drink out of. They should die. <sighs> I want to squeeze them to death. Why are you so upset about this, buddy? <laughs> Wait. Ralph, continue. Okay, hello, Ralph. I haven't heard Ralph. Ralph in a while. Yeah, oh, welcome. Uh, yeah, yeah. we'd like to introduce you guys podcast. to our guest. His name is Ralph. <laughs> he lives know. inside of Dew's tummy. Yeah, <laughs> feels like he's out of things to say for now. He'll come back in a moment. <laughs> He'll be back in three to five business days. Yep. Wait around. I think it's more often than that. <clears throat> I I feel like I hear at least at yeah. least five to six Ralph Ralph uh, per cameos. session. Yeah. 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 It depends on what he's drinking too. Ralph is our, allergic. Our, our, I'm being RPS. a fat little slut, so it won't oh, be the yeah. end. Oh, my God, our, you're our, being so naughty. Our, our <laughs> RPS is going to go up. You're grounded, buddy. What? Ralph is allergic <laughs> to carbonated drinks, so he has to scream every time he's... Yeah, he's trying to escape my fucking stomach. Cover his body. Ralph is and, leaving. Yeah, you're like covering him in acid every time you drink like a soda. <laughs> yeah. But he lives in acid, so he's a little bitch. Basically just that lives in it. He yeah. sloshes in it. We all <laughs> live in the sludge. Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. inspiring. I think Jesus said that on his the sixth homeless day. In LA. He turned water into <laughs> sludge. <laughs> Wasn't Ew. very cool. What a Everybody yeah. drank That's a lot that just night. Shit, <laughs> just <laughs> shit water. He could turn water into anything sludge. to help anybody out, but he turns it into fucking like used oil. <laughs> just pure <Sludge>. sewage <laughs> based. <laughs> yeah. It's like chunky canola oil. oil. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. what has been up? That's yeah, been what two been weeks up? since we did a podcast. It is. What the hell are we going to talk weeks. about? Wait, did you guys not do one last week? Hell no. No, because oh, no, we're stupid. We're stupid. We don't give a yeah, shit about true. this podcast. That's we facts. chose to say fuck facts. it. Fuck everything. I did see the DMs. I just I didn't know if you guys actually committed to it or not. Oh, I'll commit couldn't, something. Couldn't find the time. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> Tax fraud. Arson okay. man slopper. I was hoping that's for valid. Suicide. Those are all valid. The vehicular kind. I was hoping for marriage. Damn it! If you admit to tax evasion from like five years ago, can I still be in trouble for that? No, I dude. Think the, there's this thing of called limitations uh, would, no. Would it's not called be maritime up. law. You're good. <laughs> as Am long I covered as you under that? You're, as long as you say it while you're <laughs> in the <laughs> ocean, it's okay. <laughs> I killed eighty people. <laughs> Just tell them you're an astronaut. Tell them you did it in outer space, and so it doesn't matter. I went to space you to escape taxes the IRS on, on Mars, <laughs> so it doesn't actually matter. <laughs> That's some Elon it's Musk Megan's level law. shit. Yeah, I have an offshore bank account on Mars. That can't be. Is taxed. that how billionaires get away with tax fraud and shit? Yeah, maybe they that's just, why they, they go went to, to another space. planet. So, like, well, I made I made thirty billion dollars on the moon, so technically <laughs> I don't owe anything to the government. <laughs> 
Honestly, if that was a real thing, I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. We all talked to once what? Huh? I'm horny. Mm -hmm. I heard Axl Rose and not surprised out of all that. Mm. I heard neither of those. I heard. Axl Rose is making music still? Yeah, it's called Not Surprised. (laughs) Ralph. Uh, I thought this year couldn't get any worse. (laughs) Axl didn't ask Rose. Are you glad we're back, listeners? Axel Hose. No one's Who's that? Back. No one's Nobody's here. No one's hearing this. <laughs> no one's watching or listening <laughs> to any of this currently. I'm in your ears, pussy. I'm in your ears right now. We are now, currently pussy. living we in, in the ear, moment ear, of ear, the ear. Goons podcast. We are currently existing in I'm the actually goons. disassociating really hard. I don't know where I, I am. Yeah. 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 I'm looking at myself on screen right now, and I feel like I'm just looking at a whole different person. I don't know who that is. Uh, I'm buying silver or sad, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fucked it's up. Really sad. <laughs> yeah. Like those are early stage like dementia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just walk by a mirror and get freaked out. Oh fuck! You're just like oh, recording one day, you're just like thinking you're watching a YouTube video, <laughs> just watching yourself on OBS. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Then I These guys are really unfunny. Dementia f- kink. <laughs> you never run out of content if you have dementia. Just record yourself at all times. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys think we'll still be doing youtube when we have dementia i hope so i mean that's the I plan. Hope, yeah i mean well like hopefully we'll be able to stumble back into our bits like like we're, we're, we're gonna be 86 yeah. and i'm gonna hear you yell so if i pull hard enough and it's gonna be funny again <laughs> it'll be incredible i need an x-ray bitch <laughs> what'll be really funny is the people that make compilations of us making dementia jokes and then having dementia. us actually having dementia and, and us thinking confused. it's the first time yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or watching back an old video and forgetting it was you, and then you slowly get sad and decay and start crying live. Then you pee your pants and forget about it. And you eat <laughs> the pants okay. yourself, and fall asleep, and then you down more a bottle of pills all over you. And end up in the hospital. You chew a little aspirin, do a little <laughs> dance. It's so sad. Chew a little aspirin. It's so, fu- it's so fucked dance. up. Getting old fucking sucks. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I genuinely hope that like I die. Somehow, before I get I get to Holy a point shit, where I'm just too. like, dude, I watched my grandpa walk down three stairs you the other day. Grandpa? It took oh. like, it took like five minutes for him to get down three steps on his own. Ooh. It's just like, why, what? What are you doing? What are you carrying on for? <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. If it was well, legal to just to just take out your grandpa, like you know, a kilometer away with a sniper, point. just take You're him out when he walks out his front door. Do what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to push him. You're supposed to push him to help him go down faster. <laughs> let the intrusive Andrew thoughts win. Yeah, let the intrusive thoughts win. Start saying you're a top G and you're yeah. the alpha male and just push him down the stairs. <laughs> Grandpa, you are not a top G. Spin kick him <laughs> in the back the of the head. You're not the alpha anymore. You have dementia. You're not uh, the alpha Do you expect anymore. to be able to drop ship when you move this slow, you stupid bitch? <laughs> <laughs> drop ship. <laughs> it's so fucked up. You yeah, guys I have know. a lot of uh, dementia in your family. Are you scared of having like actual My grandma uh, uh, is going through pretty severe dementia right now. Mm. My, that is very my sad. My grandpa did, but I think it was him getting hit in the head with a shotgun more than it was. <laughs> That'll do else. it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Checks out. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, he had he had pretty bad uh, like dementia, but again, I don't know if it was natural or not. I hope it's not natural because, I mean, getting dementia doesn't really suck for you. Cause you don't even like know what's going on. I feel like it just sucks for everyone around you. Somebody got like, hey, yeah. grandma. And- <laughs> yeah, grandma. You really go over to grandma. And you're like, hey, grandma, what's up? And she tries to fucking fork your tit because she doesn't know who you are and thinks you're, you know, <laughs> a random stranger in, in her house. Been Can there. I ask how so. he got hit in the head with a shotgun? Yeah, like, I, was I, told you, I told. I talked about this story. No, he. Uh, Dementia moments. Two or three people <laughs> broke into. His, Start the compilation. Two or three people <laughs> broke into his house. Um, he owned a big farm, and. He, uh, what kind of yeah, fun? I don't know. He, pe- so did people my broke ancestors. In. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, yeah, anyway. people broke in and they had shotguns and they apparently were not even loaded. Um, they just tried to use them to like scare him, yeah. And uh, yeah, he he picked up his his little he apparently was asleep on the couch and he picked up his like little coffee table thing and just started swinging it at them. And one of them bashed him in the end with a shotgun, took a bunch of shit and left. Mm. Oh. That's pretty yeah. badass, though, that he picked up the yeah, coffee table. Yeah, it's pretty table. cool. Yeah, he, it's like he, some he, Elden Ring he, shit. Like yeah, he two-handing. swung him off. I could probably find... There's still an article about it somewhere. I could probably find the article. For article. Me. There's an article about it. That's fucking have you, sick. Have you read the article? I have a grandma <laughs> dementia funny moment. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, let me try and remember the story. It was quite a while well, ago. That's ironic. 
<laughs> I had a pet cat, I think. Someone had a pet cat. It was at my grandmother's house. I was really young. And the cat had kittens. And for some reason, it was like late at night, and we wanted to look at the kittens. Like me and my mom wanted to go look at the kittens. And my mom asked my grandmother to bring a flashlight over. And she like walked away to go get the flashlight. And came back with a home phone and was pressing the buttons on it. <laughs> and I just fucking punched her so hard. And then I buried her alive. Wait, what? I completely cool that story. missed the first <laughs> half of that. That story ramped up so fast. Dementia, Dementia Grandma was asked to grab a flashlight and grabbed a home phone and was yeah. pressing buttons on it. Pointing it at a litter of kittens. When your grandma tries to microwave your keys, that's kind of when you know the signs. It's kind of not. Yeah. Okay, kinda, well, kinda I found base, <laughs> I found an article of it, good. but it doesn't it doesn't talk about any of the cool shit he did. It just says that he got beat up into a coma. So he sounds like so a bitch in this. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not very cool. Is that an article <laughs> written by CNN? Uh, nope. Uh, Globe and Mail. Mm. All right, I Globe and Globe and Globe and yeah, Globe and Mail. Globe, Globe and the Globe and Mail. I don't know. I'd put in cancer if you want to hear about my grandpa getting beat up. I would love nothing more. <clears throat> yeah, I'll nothing look at exciting. That after it's the very podcast. short. <laughs> yeah, sure, go for it. Uh, but uh, what you guys? What have you guys been up to for two weeks? Beating off, beating off, sleeping. That's it for <laughs> two weeks. Off, you just beat your dick for two weeks uh -huh. straight. Wake up, beat so off, you are doing up. it right. I'm, we're uh, we're all we're all doing everything. Yeah, right. how do you guys? I, I want to be like joy life. I want to be like McNasty, man. Stay home, beat off, sleep. <laughs> that actually sounds that. pretty nice right now, bro. I, I did the equivalent of like four moves in one house. Yeah, what the fuck has been going on with you? Uh, I've been moving like picture like the most. Full uh -huh. house of shit, and then multiply it by eight, and then multiply okay. it by eight, and then multiply that by two point five, and then okay. divide the by two. Really hard. Did you, did the math is getting too hard. Second job moving houses. What happened? Why are you moving like eight houses? It's one house, but it's it has the stuff equivalent of like eight. Oh, it was my parents' Jesus. stuff, dude. It was unbelievable. It took really. So, it took like an actual whole month to get it done. When I moved, I everything I had fit in the two trips of a pickup truck <laughs> back end. Oh, my stuff would be easy. Yeah, I can move in a day. But it, this yeah. was, like, stuff from, like, 30 years. So. Yeah, I guess, yeah. That's crazy. But it's done, so I can have, like, normal life again. So I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, Thank moving God. is fucking miserable. I've been yeah, crying without fucking, you. Moving fucking sucks. Okay. If I never parents, have to move again, I'd be so happy. How do parents get so much <clears throat> shit, dude? Mine, mine like, are super people sentimental can't get rid about of everything. Shit, yeah. So yeah, they just keep dude. everything, like, mm. like seven VCRs. <laughs> no, Jesus dude, Christ. trust me, I understand. <laughs> like, like, it's, like, not hoarders level, but it's, like... Yeah, it's not like it's Border not like it saved like a, a wheel and a twist tie. It was like actual stuff, <laughs> you know. Yeah, my, right. my parents are the opposite. I'll be like, I'll, be, I'll I'll go over there for dinner, and they'll just be like dragging a box from downstairs. Like, what's that? Baby photos. Like, what? You throwing them out? Well, you're not a baby anymore. No. What do we need these for? <laughs> like, All right, fair like enough. Actual <laughs> sentimental things that like yeah, can't be replaced. like stuff you should keep. <laughs> they just, bro. They just like every like six months to a year, they just purge all the shit that they see is like junk. It, like. Uh, they have a similar rule where I have, where if it's like X amount of months and you haven't used or thought about this thing, mm, yep. you don't really need it. That's how I which feel is, about it. Which is fair to an, to an extent. But I used to hate it when I was a kid. My mom would like fucking throw random GameCube games or whatever because she didn't know what the fuck they were. And I was like, bruh, oh. I would have loved to keep those. But yeah, I still have the GameCube. The I, just have like, I just have like three fucking games for it because the rest of my mom was like, oh, I haven't seen you touch in a while, so I threw it out. <laughs> She's <laughs> monitoring what you, you play. <laughs> What a well, I mean, off. to be fair, it'd be like dusty in a box somewhere in the closet yeah. that I like haven't opened. It's not like she would just randomly go through my games and be like, "No, nah, this one got no fingerprints. He probably hasn't played it." And then just <laughs> she chuck boots it, in the garbage. it up. Like, Last played six months ago. You're out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't anything like that. <laughs> she stopped doing it after I was like 13 or whatever. Once I got like an Xbox and be like, "Don't touch my shit." <laughs> yeah. But yeah, as a kid, she used to just it's because she's Canadian. Don't keep my stuff in the garbage. I don't know if that has anything to do with it at all. You yeah, just blame everything on Canada. Yeah, you can actually. What am I saying? All right. Talking yeah, about no, that's fair. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm sure she probably has well, a gout, too. Have anything well exciting? What, yeah, well, what are the two of y'all been doing? Because y'all been like around the planet yeah, back I twice. Seen, yeah, uh, yes. I was in Arizona for seven days. Was it for the uh, golfing? Was it for yeah, the golfing? Was, yeah, so my friend has a golf channel, and you know he uh, he was one of the very few friends that actually like supported me when I started YouTube. Um, he even tried to start gaming YouTube at the same time I did. He realized he didn't like gaming, but whatever. 
Um, but, you know, he was always, like, hella supportive and stuff, which was extremely appreciated because the rest of my friends used to, like, <clears throat> clown on it. Um, so I, I like to take him on to uh, golf trips now where he can film because uh, he has his own golf YouTube channel. That's pretty and dope. last year we went to South Carolina. That's when I hung out with Soup last time. And then uh, this time we went to Arizona. And uh, it was so nice, man. I've never been to, like, Arizona for a prolonged period of time. And I'm going to be honest. I expected it to just look like Breaking Bad everywhere. I was yeah. just, like... <laughs> ugly nothingness at all yeah. times yeah and see like gus frying up some chicken but uh <laughs> yeah no it's such a pretty state the golf there was super cool we played uh we played the most famous uh par three in all of golf there's this uh it's called the stadium course and it's gone tpc scottsdale and there's like i think it's 20 something thousand people when the stadium is up around this little tiny hole and Damn. uh yeah, and, like, the, when the crowd is there, they'll, like, boo you if you miss the green or if you land it on the green, everyone will freak out. And then if somebody gets a hole in one, every single person will just throw their beer can onto the green and shit. Well, so there'll just be, sick. like, tw- 20,000 beer cans. It, it's, like, the only tournament in golf that I actually really like watching because it's the only tournament that looks like a real sport. Yeah, like, yeah. Watching golf, even as somebody who likes golf, is some of the most miserable shit. Like, the only time it's fun is if you're there in person or if it's on, like, Sunday, which, like, the Sundays are like the finals of every tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, yeah, on a Friday afternoon, I, I think I'd rather drink three gallons of paint than watch golf. For it's good to hours. fall asleep. To, I, yeah. I saw a <laughs> clip on Twitter. I don't know Jack Dick about uh, golf, but like apparently back in the day when like a, a golfer, like a pro golfer would like hit his winning shot in a bunch of grown ass dudes would dive the field and reach in the hole and try to get the ball. Oh, yeah, I I'd, I'd probably. I, I yeah, didn't even know be, that was a thing. I didn't think you were allowed be, to even go up on the field ever. Yo, no, you're you're not. But like, people just you know be doing stupid shit in any sport, especially with golf, where like the only thing holding back these big burly three hundred pound Americans is like a little thin <laughs> yeah. rope. Right. Like they're running right through that. If they want to go on that green, they're going on the green. The rope's not stopping them. Right. But uh, yeah, we just went there to golf. Uh, we went there and saw a. I saw my first basketball game as a grown adult. Um, which is really cool. We saw the Phoenix Suns play, and they're in the playoffs right now. Um, they're playing uh, the Clippers, I believe. And, yeah, that was cool. I uh, I stole an armrest from the stadium on accident. Well, it started on accident, what? but then I just like, committed to it. Put it in Did your it pocket? stick to your arm <laughs> as you got no, up? I was there. <laughs> gross. Kind of. I was sitting there, watched the whole game. The armrests are on. And they're like, I don't it, I, no, I think it's upstairs. But it's like... A, like this big it's a full fucking armrest for a seat and i'm sitting there and we're like the game is over it's like all right cool and like to get up i like kind of use my arms and push down a little bit on it and it just came right out into my hand and i was just like all right and i'm taking this my bag and i walked away <laughs> this is my yeah, baby let's go <laughs> if you break it you keep it <laughs> my motto. So now, so now I'm probably wanted by the Phoenix Suns organization for their armrest. <laughs> I'm gonna go back there for a game in like ten years, and they're gonna be like, "That's the armrest guy." Bring it back. I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get tackled <laughs> by Sir, security. You need to come you throw me. a bag over your head and like take <laughs> you in the back rooms. Take me, take Where's me the armrest? Take me in the desert with a bag over my head. Just holding a cold steel pistol to my brain. But uh, yeah, no, it was a cool trip. I, I, I it was my first time like actually hanging out in the desert and. We got a little Airbnb there with a pool and basketball court and stuff, which was fun. Nice. But uh, yeah, no, it was it was super dope. Are y'all really, trying really to hit nice like area. a different a different state every year for golf? Or are y'all gonna? I don't know. We I were, want well, y'all we to come gonna... back here, man. Okay, like, so I'll, we were I'll actually go going to. Y'all. I had no, I had I had South Carolina actually planned and like mostly booked, but this would have been the same week of the RBC Heritage Tournament, which happens at. Um, uh harbor town which is where we were gonna golf right and uh yeah to to get a like the same bungalow type thing we got last year would have been like fifteen thousand dollars and i was like that's damn that's yeah, not that's it that's damn so, Bobby. <laughs> so yeah i was much. just like yeah i was like let's just let's just go somewhere else because that's that's insane yeah so yeah that's why we didn't go back to south carolina otherwise we would have because i took uh i took my girlfriend's uh, little brother nick um he golfs too and i took him on this trip so nice. yeah, for th- for three people to go to South Carolina was just gonna be way too much money. Yeah, way like, too much. Like that was expensive. just that was just for staying there. Like that wasn't even like everything else. That was like without the golf, food, whatever stuff. So I was like, yep, that's not it. I'm gonna so be back in that. Charleston in June. We uh, June? me and my band have a, a show there. Yeah, in June. Oh, and, bro, uh, Charleston's so much fun. 
I'm dude. I'm going back to that fucking. Are you gonna Irish go back pub. to the bar? Oh, dude, yeah. I, I can't stop thinking about it. Like everyone I talk to, <clears throat> anytime they mention Charleston, I'm like, there's go this to little, that bar. There's this little Irish pub. You gotta go to it. I don't even remember what it was called. I couldn't remember the name of it the other day. I was talking to some of my friends, and they were mentioning that they had something to do in Charleston or whatever. And I was like, "There's a fucking Irish pub. What's the goddamn name?" I, it took me forever to remember it. It was like <laughs> it's like Tommy Tommy Con, condoms. Or oh condoms. yeah, yeah, because yeah. I remember condoms. he kept saying Tommy. No, yeah. he kept saying condoms. He said yeah, Tommy condoms. condoms. But it's something yeah. like that. It's such a sick place. I feel like if I got drunk in Charleston, like you fed me a bunch of shots, I'd be like a lost cat and eventually just find my way back to that bar. Like, oh, yeah. you know, if, if you drop a cat off like 10 miles from its house, <laughs> it'll find its way back. I feel like anywhere <laughs> near Charleston, if I just take three or four shots, I'll just meander my way back to that bar. It was so fun. It was. That was, that was uh, a good time. Yeah, that was definitely one of my favorite bars. It was too bars short. To. It was way too short. We, we need to stay in Charleston for like a week or something. Yeah. We need to have Goons Charleston week. That. Yeah, because I I want to go golfing, but dude, I've never done you actual want, golfing. You want to so. go golfing? Yeah, I've been golfing since so I was fun. like ten. I've only done little putt putt, like little mini golf. I mean, we oh, like yeah. even a good in between is like like top golf, where you don't take it seriously. You just sure. hit ball and then eat balls. Yeah. 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 I feel like top golf would definitely get hammered. Definitely be the play. For yeah, sure. top golf is top golf is honestly super fun. Like it's it's super approachable too for like new people or people that just want to dick around and like shake a ball balls. into the people next to them. Yeah, yeah. it is it is fun. I, I, I don't know. Golf is, like, not something I ever saw myself actually enjoying. But I think with our job being, like, clinically online. It's kind of like the perfect all times, opposite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like the opposite where you, like, I put my phone in a, a bag for, like, four and a half hours. And I yeah. just sit in a field drinking with my friends. And like, it's also, like, a sport you can enjoy without having to, like, exert yourself a ton. You know? Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't, don't feel dead after I've played eight. Yeah, like I don't feel dead after I've played 18 holes. Like half of it, I'm just sitting in the cart. The other half, I like walk 15 feet, smack a ball, and then yeah. eat just a hot fresh dog air. after nine holes. Just like, yeah, fresh it's a, air, man. Fresh it air just feels sun. good to be out That's there. How it feels I good to up. sweat. Socialize. Yeah, fishing. I fishing for some reason I just could not get into. Like I tried. One of my friends is super into fishing. I think it's just a fact that I don't like eating fish, so it felt very like pointless for me to catch them and just throw them yeah. back. It was just kind of like. All I'm doing is putting a hole in this guy's face and then throwing him back in the water, <laughs> which like it's really not that bad. But I just it just wasn't for me. But I love the idea of it. It's just so peaceful sitting on the yeah, water. It's, it's so even nice. even just like even just going out on a boat, going out on the water, like yeah. anywhere is just just fun. Even yeah. if the fish aren't biting, just going out, just chilling, relaxing, yeah. getting some fresh air, getting the yeah. sun on, drinking you. some oh, rainbow so Bud nice. Light cans. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. The American like right fishing in rainbow cans. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've had too many, yeah. like, boring fishing trips that it's kind of, like, left a bad taste in my but mouth. But, like, aren't you kind of expecting it to be, like, isn't that yeah, kind of yeah, the kinda. perk of it? To there be was like, no subway it's surfers. Yeah, yeah. In, a, in a way, though, I feel like it's very similar to golf, where it's, a, it's like a humbling sport. Like, you can have some days where you're, like, going out there and you're fucking killing it. Like, yeah, the true. fish are fucking schooling, and you're just tearing them up. And then, yeah. you know, like you go out one day, you golf, and you're fucking doing amazing. The next day, you're shanking it in the woods. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck did I do differently today? Like, I did, I'm doing the same yeah. shit. I'm using the same <laughs> clubs, but the same shit. Like, you know what I mean? You play the same course. Yeah. I just think that like, mate, you fish like, in the same spot. That it just, it, 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 it depends on the weather and all kinds of yeah. stuff. Shit, I just, so. my, I would say my last 10 times fishing, all 10 times were just not good. I don't know. Well, I don't know if it's maybe just like dude, where I'm fishing. I gotta diagnose you with a skill issue, dog. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. that might be that might be you issue. Well, you can yeah. you can hire a guide. Like, there's people that uh, follow the fish, and uh, <laughs> no. Well, way. the weird thing they is, so I, like, I would go with like my <laughs> they dad. The fish Are they just verified. like in deep sea diving? <laughs> they got Twitter like, blue here and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the weird thing, like, it's not like I would understand if I was going by myself and doing it wrong every single time. But I would go with like my dad, my uncle, and then like one of my cousins. Well, then now are you and now they, are you bored? That seems like my, almost the, uh, a good part of it. Like even with golf, when I'm playing bad, it's still like, man, I'm just, yeah, no, it's I'm better than just sitting alcohol, in my room, in the fucking, sun. yeah, just like, hanging. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's that's kind of the best part about it. But. There's no such thing as a bad day fishing or a bad day golfing. <laughs> there ain't no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this guy yeah. gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd definitely <clears throat> try fishing in, like, especially if I was in, like, Soup's neck of the woods, I feel like I would yeah, definitely give it uh, another try. Like, Soup, if we ever went there for, like, a full, whatever, 
goons week and hang out like i would absolutely ask you to take us fishing because i'd love to try it again it's something it's something i enjoy the idea of i just i just haven't done maybe i want to try uh, deep sea fishing that would not 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 necessarily deep sea fishing but fishing in the ocean the ocean ocean? yeah Yeah. let's get a giant boat and a crew and go harpoon some damn whales (laughs) (laughs) what do you think that sounds like the the most (laughs) badass time like a fucking storm is coming in we're like out there with a harpoon gun up on the fucking (laughs) <laughs> flying Dutchman. We gotta, we gotta find Dicks trying to eat your fucking boat. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta find like the most endangered animal we can find and just harpoon it straight through the head. <laughs> just start One fucking time slashing I, penguins in half with a machete. I, I went crabbing. I went crabbing in like a little lagoon one time, and I didn't realize that that was probably very, was very Goo-Lagoon? illegal. Mm. It was the Goo Lagoon. It was probably very illegal. Yeah, but probably. It, it was pretty funny, dude. You could you can get like a little rope, just like go to Walmart and get like a little rope or whatever, and you can tie like a chicken breast or something on the like a raw chicken breast on the end of the rope and just throw it in like a little lagoon. And I'll show these up. Li- and these little dumbass <laughs> blue crabs will just grab the chicken and you just fucking yank them with the rope. You just bring them up and throw them in a bucket. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> it's so weird because like uh, in re- in normal. In normal nature, no way would a crab ever eat a chicken breast. Chicken I know it's, breast. it's like, so sick. Yeah, I'm like especially you little dumbass, like a, a skinned, like clean chicken yeah. breast. Yeah. Like you'd have, <laughs> if they had any chicken, it would be like a hairy, like chicken hoof. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it would just be like a skinless, boneless breast. Yeah. What dude, exactly that, is a lagoon, by the way? Is it just like a what is that? Just like a stagnant puddle, I guess. Uh, Isn't sludge. it like? I was gonna say, isn't it? I I could be completely wrong. Isn't it after tide? No, those are tide pools. When tide goes, I mean, I say lagoon. I don't know if it was like a, an actual lagoon. I was just yeah, I don't, I don't know what a real a funny lagoon word. Is. Ocean puddle, basically. I don't grab it. Yeah, ocean yeah. puddle. It was like a little ocean puddle, but it had like a little, um, what do you call it? Fucking not a river. What's the fucking word? Like a creek? Uh, word. Yeah, that you're all right. Yeah. It had other water in it than the stuff. Well, the water was like the slowly was leaking. leaking back into the ocean. <laughs> oh, so it was like connected to the ocean. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. The water was going home. Yeah, yeah it's like those things where those I've seen those videos of the guys like they'll they'll do that and they'll they'll um they'll like scoop the the sand out and then it'll start leaking into the ocean. And then they'll like surf on it and shit. You ever see those? They'll surf on the uh, water that's like going ooh. into the ocean. Oh, that's kind of cool. No, I've never never seen that. Yeah, they I know scoop what you're saying, the but sand. Seen they yeah, like, so like they'll be like like next to the ocean, they'll be I like. I get what he's saying. They'll like they'll make like a little area, a runway of shallower sand, so the water is flowing through it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. got you. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't ask, but that sounds cool. I'm so I tired you were of talking masks. about like fucking King Neptune, <laughs> like striking the earth and the sand like jumps yeah. and causes a wave and they're surfing. Yeah, like, so, right, that sounds of videos. Of those. Yeah. You just brought Moses. <laughs> to I'm on Zeus talking. That does sound great. <laughs> What did you do, Soup? How was your week? Mm. I've been just chilling. Mm. <laughs> a little mosquito flew by. Dude, I've been getting bit by a lot of mosquitoes, and I've been seeing really? a lot of bumbly, bumbly bees. Yeah, it's starting to like the summertime is coming. I'm so happy for the summertime. Dude, I'm, I'm so annoyed. We like Normally in Canada, it should be like 65, 70 degrees by now. It has been so cold since I got back. Like today's the warmest day since I got back from Arizona, and it's 52 Fahrenheit. It's it's so ass. It's supposed to be crappy the next like two weeks. I'm just I'm so pissed. I came from Arizona like 94 Fahrenheit of nice dry heat that felt great, and then you just come back home and just get cucked by cold rain. That's yeah, what you're living like in here. Canadian land. I don't. It I, was in the 50s this morning, and I'm just like, fuck this stupid weather. I fucking hate it. I yeah, actually, cool you water. guys should be, you guys should be like, seventies by now, right? That's like what it is. Yeah. High seventies. Uh, it's Catch like up. high sixties. Really? That's kind of surprising, yeah. actually. Well, I, I mean, like I guess even it when we were there in March, on, it was seventy-five. It, it depends. It depends on the day. South Carolina weather is pretty bipolar. <laughs> it's yeah. one of the most boring goons conversation. <laughs> How's the weather? <laughs> Talking about weather. It's, it's interesting. I, if you I, have something better to talk about, please yeah, go feel ahead. Free. Yeah, let's talk ahead. about. You've just been gotcha. sleeping and beating your dick the last two weeks. Let's talk about gamer subs and using code groove. Whoa! For okay, you yeah, should code use code this shit code right here. Use this shit. That looks oh, like actually, piss blood. Uh, I forgot about. Oh yeah, don't we? Have, we have. We're not gonna talk about that. I meant to, Did I show you guys <laughs> in the group chat when I went to the when I went to the basketball game? I saw the Phoenix Suns. 
Guess what their mascot is? Just ju- judging by the name. A big gamer tub. A big fucking son. A titty. A titty. One titty. A big fiery bird. Big anime a wife of ball. Okay, it's a gorilla. The Mona Lisa. Actually, I don't. The I don't know Suns why it's a gorilla. A gorilla. <laughs> it's a gorilla. Hold That's on, let awesome. me show you. I gotta look at the picture now. Let me show. No, hold on, hold on. Let me show you the video right. of him. Oh, I got two videos. There's one of him break dancing in the middle of the stadium with a bunch of disco lights around him. Okay, I is, like that. <laughs> I knew you'd love it. It actually seemed like a shit post. Like it felt like, like a it felt like somebody was happening. In the middle yeah, of the <laughs> dude, I, I I couldn't believe my eyes. It was just incredible. Was there ten minutes? That sounds uh, incredible. Dude, if I went to an NBA game and a fucking gorilla was like disco Hold dancing on. on the court, I would shit myself. Hold on, this is, uh, I'll show you him die. doing a front flip. Why can I, not? hold on, there we go. Monkey flip? Yeah, he did a, uh, he did a front flip into a dunk. Like, there's just this gorilla running towards a trampoline with a basketball. <laughs> Damn, and he that's just does fucking a awesome. That's actually impressive in a fucking gorilla suit. Them. That's what I'm saying. I was, I was shocked by it. It, it didn't feel real. I, th- I thought it was, like, some random guy they just had coming out. But, no, that's their, that's their mascot is a, a gorilla. There you go. Why aren't they called the Phoenix Gorillas? I don't know. They're just called the Phoenix Suns, and then they couldn't think of anything else, so they just got a gorilla, I guess. I have no idea why. I put it in cancer. So if you want to watch a gorilla do a front flip. Maybe a a sun mascot would just be too goofy. I guess so, but a gorilla? A gorilla? (laughs) Isn't it a gorilla? (laughs) Disco dancing, doing backflips? Oh, dude, we also, like, the first day we got there, uh, we we went to... um, What's it, what's it called? I think it was Shake Shack. No, it was uh, I forget. It's some what a burger? burger place that it's is what a steak and shake. No, hold on, I have a video. Five Jews. This burgers. was the most <laughs> fucked up burger place I've ever seen in my entire life. Dude, what that video goes video? so hard. <laughs> Dude, yeah, the guy was, fucking uh... the guy dancing on the court. <laughs> oh oh my god, that, that is so chaotic. <laughs> All right, it was a Shake Shack. <laughs> we went to a Shake Shack, and there was two totaled vehicles in the parking lot <laughs> that were taking up parking spaces. <laughs> Completely fucked up vehicles, like all four <laughs> tires were popped. There, are you watching the gorilla? I'm watching, <laughs> him, spin, I'm watching him spin on a little, little segue. Get that reminds Dude. me of that movie uh, with Will <laughs> Ferrell. He's like a basketball <laughs> player. Yeah, there's just a team. Bro, that's, that's insane. Like How, do How do I apply? How do I apply for that job? <laughs> he's he's shit posing for job. the halftime show. Just, Phoenix Suns, hit me up. I will do it for free. He's posing gorilla on a, on a segue. <laughs> Dude, that guy yeah, has the most badass job ever. Sick. That is fucking yeah. awesome. Holy yeah, yeah, imagine going to a, b- a bar to pick up a girl and you tell her that's your job. Yeah, <laughs> I, I see I'm Bose as a gorilla on, on, a, on a scooter and I, I zoom around in circles. <laughs> that's so awesome. I do front flip, back flip gorilla moments. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your dick right Respect. now. Respect. Respect. That guy's living life. A monkey suit, yeah. stay on during sec. <laughs> but, uh, All right, what I, was, I, I went to a, a convertible Shake Shack. So it, it's not meant to be, but I went there. Already a bad sign. There was already red flags on the horizon when we pulled in. Two totaled vehicles. All four wheels were popped on both of them. The steering, mm. like the wheels were facing like opposite ways. Like somebody with two lazy eyes looking opposite directions. Like the, the entire windshield, alignment. the windshield was smashed. Both of them were so fucked up. And then when we, I didn't, that was what I was focused on. Then we pulled in. And we noticed the whole top of the Shake Shack was just wood. It was just like two by fours <laughs> piled up on each other. There was no roof. And we thought, surely, like, the ceiling is still in there. Like, you know, obviously because they're open. And we opened the door, sun coming right down. There's literally just two by fours put there. Like, they, they nice. didn't have a roof. They didn't have a ceiling. They're just frying up patties in, like, the 90-degree <laughs> weather of terrible. Phoenix. Like, dude, I was just like, what the fuck is happening? Did it go hard, Maybe that's though? where the Phoenix Suns no, got their name from. It was Maybe. so <laughs> ass. It was oh. like, I was excited because, like, I've had Shake Shack quite a few times, and I thought it was, I, you know, I thought it was going to be decent. I've had it in Boston, whatever, and it's solid. No, it was awful there. It was literally just like a, a grease shake pit, tent. and I, I had like a soggy shake burger. Tent. It was not shake good. It was shelter. like, a, yeah, sh- <laughs> shake convertible. <laughs> it was bad. 
But uh, yeah, I was no, hoping Arizona it was like cool. a hidden gem or something. This, no, yeah, no, usually those places like that where the building and everything is just gross and run down. The food's always super it's like good. The but. best shit on the planet. Yeah, I mean, yeah no, it was I disgusting. Disagree. I really? disagree. Yeah. With that. If I go yeah, to a Chinese restaurant and there isn't cockroaches galore, I'm not eating there. Right. If there's not, like oh, my, mold on the walls, yeah. I ain't eating. <laughs> my favorite if there's Chinese place. There's not like a place, half dead fat kid in the back of the floor. I half half decomposed. Half dead. My uh my, my favorite Chinese place had two health strikes against them and, and dude, I used to same, get there all the time. Dude, it was so good. I, bet I it literally was. like I'd never had any issues with them at all. Like it definitely I didn't go in there and I, I wouldn't exactly lick the carpet, but like it wasn't yeah. that bad. But yeah, yeah, they had two health violations. But it, I mean that like might have just been Oh, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say if the little letter the sign on the on the front door isn't like below a C. I ain't eating in there. You know Dude, I mean? yeah. I've, I've yeah, been absolutely. to my my favorite Chinese place was an a, it had an A rating or whatever, and I went there one day and it had a, a red like C or something, and oh, I was like, shit. oh fuck, the rat fell <laughs> Not, in my soup. That C stands for China, baby. I'm going straight. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I'm going in. That's so good. I feel like yeah. I feel like Chinese food is the is the only. Uh, yeah, the only, only one where I'll allow that. Yeah, yeah, the only exception. Other than that, like if I go to a burger place, and yeah, it's I'm, got like I'm a seeing like, yeah, it's <laughs> like, man, I know I'm gonna get like hepatitis uh, or something. Yeah, right? a half cooked burger that's just gonna be sloppy it's still meat mooing. on a bun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I one thing I'm not used to about America, I forget that you guys can get your burgers any way other than medium uh, well. The only way you can get a burger in Canada is medium well. Like, the fact that you guys Why? get medium rare burgers is wild. Well, because, like, so steak, medium rare is fine. Because the inside of the steak is yeah. never touching the outside world. It's never uh -huh. going to get bacteria, whatever. Where, like, a burger, that's just a bunch of meat just jammed into a machine and it comes out little spaghetti strips Mushed where up, they yeah. mold it into a burger. So, like, you can have all sorts of bacteria on the center of that. And medium rare is not hot enough to kill it. So like Canada, you you can't even serve it. I, U.S. It's like I, I always get so bewildered when like oh, oh you're uh, like you confused burger, we'll that we can get rare. like a rare burger, medium rare. Yeah, that's yeah. so weird. Like I don't I don't get them that way ever. That's I food poisoning. Well, done. well I yeah, think it, like that's I just, think the FDA just, just says poisoning. it has to reach a certain temperature internally. But medium rare is not that temperature. Medium rare yeah. is not hot enough to kill bacteriums. I, I would never do that personally. It's fucking gross. No, that's why I like medium well. Yeah, it's got to be medium well to well done. Like, there's no other way to to get it. It's just, yeah, yeah especially because, like, if it's not crispy on the outside, too, it's just, like, you're just, just soggy, sloppy, wet you, meat. Yeah. yeah, That's like a sloppy Joe at that point, if I want that kind yeah, of but, vibe. Like, you want burgers yeah, to have that, like, caramelized, like, smash burger crisp to it? Yeah. You don't want it to just be, like, Yeah, I don't know. It, just, it throws me off so much when they're like, oh, you want your burger uh, medium rare, rare, medium? <laughs> or should we just cut like, off the, the, the leg of the cow Wrong. and put it in between some bread and give it to you? <laughs> yeah, like, damn. <laughs> Throw a damn cow in the grinder and put it on a burger for me. <laughs> yeah, give me a blue burger. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> fuck. That's nasty. It's just frozen burger. solid. <laughs> <laughs> well, blue is... Uh, Blue is an actual way to get a steak. Yeah, it's like cook it? like 10 yeah, seconds Pittsburgh, on each side. Pittsburgh style or whatever. I could do that. So is that shit. Called? Is that Pittsburgh style? I think that's what it's called. I've seen it called that I know at, there's, at some uh, places. I know Pittsburgh there's Chicago retarded. style too. Pittsburgh <laughs> style <clears throat> steak. I want to see how it cooks. Yeah, I think, right I, think, uh, I think it's called Pittsburgh style. I don't. Maybe some places call it that. Some, some places probably call it black and blue or something. I've always uh. just heard it called blue. Or blue. I don't yeah. know why they call it that. That's so nasty. So the outside is charred to a crisp. Yeah, the basically they throw it like on a grill that's really oh, fucking hot. Oh, super hot. For yeah. like 10 Just seconds on each side. Like, or whatever. <laughs> there you go. Done. Oh. Yeah. Ew. Dude, looking at photos, that like that's disgusting. I knew about <clears throat> yeah, Chicago I, I, style, which is just like. I just like, if, if it's cold in the middle, that's what throws me off. It's, it's a temperature <sighs> thing. Yeah. You don't want necessarily the hamburger. Blood. That shit sounds just, I've had steak before. Like I've ordered it medium rare because, like you know, every restaurant they do it a little bit different. No, nobody follows an exact like to a T. A law. And sometimes, like especially if you get like if they have like a thicker steak, <laughs> the inside will be kind of cold and it's gross. I have never had a cold medium rare. Luckily, really? I think, I've, I would I think probably, one yeah. time I had it. It's just because the fucking I got a ribeye and it was super thick, and it just they just I don't know the inside was just. The only time I've had like. A relatively not like not warm inside on a medium rare is I got a uh, f I think they're called Florentino steaks or they're just Florence steaks or whatever, but they are literally like this thick probably 
Like yeah. they are fucking thick and they're ribeyes. They're not like a fillet where it's like this little hockey puck yeah. type thing. It is like this whole ass thing. Like I think it was it was no bone on it. I didn't think it was twenty two ounces of meat. Ooh, and it was just like boy. it was it's the size one, of a regular ribeye, like probably like this, but then just but it was that just thing. taller. It was, yeah. Dude, it was it was a lot. I I could only like half it and I was like, this is kind of like yeah. gross. Because like I prefer I like my ribeyes to be thinner. I mean, the thing like the thing with ribeyes especially is they even if you cook a ribeye medium, it's still pretty good. Like mm. I'd rather have a ribeye slightly overcooked than slightly under because ribeye has so much like fat and sinew that yeah. if it doesn't get like yeah, you don't want chewy down fat. a little bit. Yeah, that's it's disgusting. And inside like the Florin steak, like once I got towards like where the cap and the actual uh, eye meet, uh-huh. there was uh there's like a bit of like sinew in there that wasn't fully broken down. It was yeah. like yeah, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I was just like, I'm I'm good. No more steak for me. But, yeah, I, yeah it's, it's, <laughs> it is it is nature's bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that word for sinew. That's like sinew, a yeah, Indian not, tribe not word. Do sinew. <laughs> Watch it, sinew. buddy. The sinew tribe. <laughs> That's fucked up. Didn't I ask? Anyone what? else have anything <clears throat> exciting to share? I'm reading nope. this crazy article where conjoined twins and share a vagina, but only one of us has a boyfriend. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Wait, what? what? Well, we this were talking again? about this. How did we what? get back to this? Well, I just saw <laughs> this on on the timeline because we were talking about like what would happen if a conjoined twins wanted to have sex or whatever. So I was just seeing if they talked about it, which they don't. So I'm very sad. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There was another so that one. Was kind where of a nothing <laughs> burger. Unfortunately, there was, no, there was another one where these conjoined uh, male twins shared one asshole, and one of them was gay. Oh man! Actually, yeah, dude. Okay, and that's not good. And, uh, go, go on. Imagine, use your imagination. <laughs> oh, I am, buddy. Apparently, dude. though, according to this, there's a uh, there's a conjoined twin fetish, which I mean, like, hold your surprise. Of course, yeah, there is. Yeah, but I just sure never right. thought. Wow, that's a tough one. That's not a big market. To yeah, really. <laughs> right. You see one in your life, and you're just like cartoon a sound You will sound be effect. my mate. You like hit yourself on the head with a hammer, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like tongue rolls uh, out on the ground and a wooga, a wooga. I yeah. saw a, uh, a a goon's quote very unexpectedly this morning when I was scrolling through Reddit. Was it a slur? I uh, no. Oh. I was uh, I was just scrolling through Reddit and ask Reddit. It's like one of the most popular subreddits. Yeah. It's got like forty million uh, whatever subs or people. I don't know what the fuck they're called. Yeah. Members. Um, but it Mars. was uh, it was what is the most disturbing fact about the human body? And I was like, oh, all right, I'm gonna. I'm going to check this out. Um, so I, I was scrolling through there, and somebody's like, you have an extra half of your penis that's inside your body. And the first reply was, so if I pull hard enough. And then the <laughs> whole rest of that quoted that entire bit. Like, all the that's comments awesome. really? after Hell that are just yeah. are just quoting that entire bit. It's so funny. I was so, like, I, I always forget that, like, we actually have a reach to real human beings. Yeah. Like, yeah. other people have actually seen our jokes. It's not just, like, yeah fake internet people that don't exist it's really it just, sad it was so wild <laughs> yeah. well it's like i, I mean it, it's, it's so easy to think like that like you don't see or talk to the people that like watch yeah. your videos on a daily basis or whatever i've seen your clip go viral on reddit or whatever it is yeah. so it's just like so wild to see like some stupid joke you made with your friends just like being quoted in a <clears throat> subreddit with 40 million people just yeah like all with you know Bro. 50 plus upvotes like every quote is just like yeah. that's so weird to me i don't know it's one, super cool one of the weird ones to me is of course you know the would you be there for me if i was going through something you yeah. know that shit yeah. like resurfaces every like two weeks or something i don't I, even understand seeing, that one that I one hate is when like, it's like even fur, like funny. animated furries doing voice See, well <laughs> seeing somebody go through the trouble to get like that shit like printed on a shirt and they like oh, you know yeah, the ones the, where they yeah, peel like, it yeah, out every, yeah, every yeah. sentence line. is like i'm like yeah, somebody dude, really somebody really needs to do that with a penis one <laughs> that you know what's probably crazy happen. about that? Just I still time. get I still get tagged in that. Would you still be there for me every single day of my yeah, life? I wake up and I'm I've been there. tagged. In that. I'm not even in the clip. I I wasn't even there. I was probably sitting in bed sleeping. Yeah. Like I, I don't understand why I get tagged in that one. I love but then I looks... don't get tagged in the penis one that I was actually in and like contributed to. Yeah. It's, it makes no sense. I love seeing the clip too, and it looks like somebody just put a heavy Gaussian blur over it because just been <laughs> it's oh, it's been like downloaded. So, yeah, so many times that it's just like seven pixels on a screen with yeah. like yeah. 2004 Nokia ringtone type audio. 
<laughs> yeah, it's weird that that's like my most viral clip out of all the things we've done and guitar things I've done. Like that's the one for some reason. Yeah, yeah. It's just because it's like I've, like relatable. Rel yeah, relatable. Yeah. Anytime yeah. Was... Yeah, I guess it's like easy to share with your friends. You'd be like, ah, we would also do this, this right? Because it's not just something that's like niche to like gaming YouTube. Like yeah. anybody can relate to that. Like, I guess that's why the penis one went popped off too. Everybody out here having short dicks. Yeah. I mean, everybody <laughs> has three inches inside of them. I don't know if you knew that or not. But <laughs> <laughs> X-ray. That's relatable. Mm, you mean I have more inside than outside? Uh, you mean if I fucking pull hard enough? X-ray pick. No, X-ray pick. You 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 dick dick pick and you take your fucking X-ray. Uh, <laughs> so we're getting content because dude's holding still in the corner. <laughs> that was such a funny bit though. Like yeah. the other one, I I I. Don't find that funny, like of you guys. The like, it's obviously a good clip. It's but, funny, but it's not like there. the funniest shit. But, yeah, but it's not like anything like crazy. Like I, I think that was prime goons. Like we were so snappy with all of those, like all those bits, and it's so funny. Like back then, especially on Siege, where I had higher sensitivity. Whenever I'd get really laughing like that, my content is just like quickly going up and down the screen because I'm laughing and like moving my mouth <laughs> to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, there's so many old Siege bits where you can see my screen doing that, and it's so funny. That clip, I, like, watched my own ver version of it again, and it's literally, like, it looks like I have Parkinson's. It's just shaking everywhere. <laughs> That's funny. It's so funny. Yeah, it was so goofy. Yeah, that was that was a good, that was one of one of my favorite bits we've had. Which, so I'm glad it at least went, you know, that one went viral, not some stupid-ass one. Yeah. Well, we've, I feel like we've had a few things pop off. Like over TikTok and stuff like that. Like if you just look yeah. up goons on like TikTok, like the hashtag, there is a lot of our stuff there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember the menace beer cool. thing? What did, what did she do? I, I still was that, can't the, that wasn't baloney pancakes. Was that it? one. She did baloney pancakes uh, and she did she, the one we were talking about. Would you be there for me? Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know that. Yeah, yeah, she definitely did the baloney pancakes. I'm surprised she didn't reenact the entire HVAC moment. <laughs> yeah, that's what should have went viral. She's just uh, us in here HVAC out. Our She's made it way worse our for pet. HVAC. <laughs> yeah, that's what, what should have went viral. That was so <laughs> funny. The fact that I actually had to fucking go into r slash HVAC and say sorry for the goons fans because they were posting like gay <laughs> porn. porn and they're just there's so much of like forty year old dudes keeping our houses oh, warm and shit. cold in the in the oh. undesirable months. <laughs> it's a black just, dick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was so funny. That was so funny. They like they didn't even have moderators before because there was just no need for moderators at R slash nobody going on to post HVAC HVAC Reddit. <laughs> they had to go get a bunch of moderators for R slash HVAC. I felt HVAC. so fucking bad about it all was that so shit. Funny. Dude. Yeah, I literally like made an apology on our behalf and was like. Man, you know, we, we learned our lesson. We definitely will not do that Yeah, again. there have been at least, like, two or three <laughs> occasions where we've mentioned a different, like, subreddit, and we just have to be like, no, no, we can't put that in the video because it's... Yeah, not. like, don't put that in. Yeah. Are, the HVAC moment, that was, that was yeah, so funny. That was our lesson learned. <laughs> <laughs> and I love, like, all the confusion oh. of, like, people being like, what happened? What are goons? Where are they coming from? <laughs> Why are they gay? <laughs> 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 Why are these AC hating gaffers in our Reddit? <laughs> What's this pride parade coming through my HVAC Reddit about? Just out of, like a fucking gay bomb out of nowhere. <laughs> <Just Tom. laughs> oh shit! Do you know, it was a real thing that they they thought about making was a gay bomb, releasing like hormones what? in the air to make people gay. <laughs> Sam Sam Frank Frank definitely hit your house, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first testee. It Miami works. Miami been in shambles ever since. <laughs> oh fuck me. Sure. <laughs> See, gay bomb. That, that gay bomb's talking. <laughs> <laughs> you were so fast. With <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> well, what now? <laughs> I feel like gay bomb is hard to come back from. What do we? Where do we go past gay bomb? What it, well, I want to talk about progress? games. You want to? I, there's monkey. You want to talk about monkeys. games? I'm looking for the there. Yeah, there's the monkey. Monkey. You what about games? Stamp, about games? Time step. Time stamp the monkey. I don't what know what game. Have you guys been playing any new games or anything? No. Uh, no. I look no. like I I look fucking almost every day that I get on my computer, which isn't every day. So what is a fun every game? Oh, three to five business days. Actually, I look and try. Do you have a PC cool in your house? Do you have, like, a laptop uh, or something you, like, peruse on? Uh, I have a laptop. I don't ever fucking get on it unless mm. I'm watching in, a, so, in a van on the interstate trying to do a podcast. 
we uh we kind of found a game recently that reminds me of uh it's kind of like west hunt it's called perfect heist <clears> 2 <throat> um which yeah, i actually think you guys would love that. to play but uh yeah it's it's super fun it's like exact same art style but it's in like modern times and yeah. there's like cops versus robbers and everyone has like different uh abilities they can use and stuff like that and man it is it is so much fun this is the first like game that i've really liked since west hunt like that style because west hunt is so much fun but the problem is is like if you've played with the same group so many times it's like among us where you can almost like meta game yeah yeah um so it just kind of loses like it's you know it's replayability with the same group over and over but yeah this one uh feels pretty good pretty funky pretty fresh and it does well on youtube you're getting a fat booger out is that what that just was me no, okay. I was scratching. The I don't inner, know. We can't. The inner he corner. He might be lying. Eye. We can't cut behind that. Yeah. I think he's lying. Well, we'll have to play. Uh, I was just popping my eye out and putting it back in. Understandable. <laughs> Dude, my Shih Tzu almost had that happen to him. Oh he God. had a sneezing fit, and his little fucking eyeball. You called his vet. We were like live, explaining this to his to his vet while it was happening. But my parents had a little Shih Tzu, and he had a sneezing fit. And one of his eyes was like three quarters out. Oh, Damn. And, yeah, and disgusting. we like called him. We're like, "What do we do about this?" And then he was like, "Well, you kind of just gotta push it back in, like oh! wait for him." To, so like you wait for him to blink, so his eye is like covered, and then you just push on it, and it'll just pop right oh, back in. My God. Yeah, apparently it's like a pretty common issue for like Shih Tzus, pugs, like all those little snout-faced little drooly nerds. So what happens dogs? if there's no outer force to, to <clears throat> push the eye in? Does it just fall out and dangle? Yeah, it, it, it can, it can fall out. all over their eye, and they're just like... Ah, I hate this conversation! They have like a yeah, POV man, of their fucking... Like, up and down just like at the same snot time. running down their eyeball. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that can happen. And they start that's licking their eyeball, that's covering why, That's snot. why you had to wait for it to close, and you just give it like a little a little light tap. And you just went, whoa, and it's like perfect. Just take a hammer and just boom! What was the game studio back in the day that had like the fucking weird eyeball thing? Was it uh, Activision? Oh, uh, Neversoft? Activision. Never or Neversoft, yeah. Was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was always it, Activision it was like, and Neversoft like working together. Like on uh, like the yeah. Tony Hawk games or whatever? Yeah. The yeah, fucking yeah, eyeball. yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. I hated that shit would freak me out as a kid. The little really? eyeball with the little dangly thing behind it. I feel, oh! like the, I feel like the sound effect of it blinking, or unless I'm like having Mandela effect and it never blinked, but I feel like I remember it making like Pixar. a Pixar. No, he's, no, that's a lamp. I'm thinking of DreamWorks, what? I think. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking of something that blinked, and I it was an I'm thinking of Gumby Games. I must be thinking <laughs> of... Or High on Paul. Gumby Games. With, like, four eyes. I like that guy. that guy. That guy was cool. He was a good vibe. Yeah, he seemed real chill. He was always he at the chill. end of, what, Fairly Odd Parents or something like that? SpongeBob? Yeah, he was, like, chilling on an island. Hi, yeah. I'm Paul. Oh, I wanted yeah. to hang out with that. I wanted to hang yeah, out with that guy so bad. I yeah, wanted that guy to awesome. hang that guy so bad. Why? I wanted a whole show up? based off of him. They should have made a whole cartoon. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't. Uh, he should have got at least got himself like a, a YouTube short. He captivated yeah. everybody <laughs> just by introducing himself. All he did was say, hi, I'm Paul. And we all thought, thought, wow, he's a hero. Take yeah. my money. <laughs> That's Paul. Paul's a hero. Yeah, that, that little Who guy. Who remembers Paul? Who remembers remember Paul? Paul. Leave your dead dog's name in the comments section if you remember <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Push your grandpa down a flight of stairs if you remember Paul. Spin kick him in the chest at a knocked loose show. <laughs> Imagine taking your grandpa with dementia to a knocked loose show. <laughs> Just putting him in the pit. What kind of PTSD <laughs> Bro, would he throw experience? Him, throw dude, him down would, in the middle of counting worms. Just fucking dude, he would, think he's, he, he would think he's a POW and start fucking killing people. He'd think <laughs> the Viet Cong took him. <laughs> they're in the floors, <laughs> they're in the ceilings. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Knock Loose just play Coachella, actually? Yeah. That's yep. kind of huge for a, a hardcore band. They especially because they're like. audience, too. Yeah. They're not exactly like even the most approachable hardcore band. They're pretty yeah. like. I don't know. Hey, that's, I'm that's not, so I, tight like, I don't hate them, but I'm not a huge fan of them. The, the, really? I, the vocal I love sound Knock is too, too screechy for me. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of the the vibe yeah. of hardcore. I feel like it's not really like metalcore or deathcore where they're, you know, yeah, that's true. Trying to actually use technique. I feel like it's the goal is actually just <laughs> yell as loud Damn. as possible. Pretty Deep much. That's not. That's not. It's not a shots fired. This is a shots different fired. style. Yeah. Yeah. One that just doesn't require technique. It's no big deal. <laughs> well, there is obviously technique. Otherwise, he would his technique, fucking technique. voice would be blown out after you know Stop two songs. Stop on your right screech. Don't forget it. <laughs> 
<laughs> now it's time to break down. Dun, 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 I would watch that. Anyways, it's cool that they played Coachella. <laughs> it, it is very is awesome and epic yeah. that a hardcore band played Coachella. Coachella used to I'm, be a I'm, bunch I'm, of wubs and dub dubs. Boom, 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 boom. So. I'm happy for any uh, rock band that gets any sort of like big mainstream, mainstream recognition. I love it. it. Makes me happy. Speaking of, didn't yeah. Metallica just put out a new song or album or something? Yeah, they got a new album. Out. Or something. Is it good? Doing a. They've not heard it's it. Pretty good. It's pretty good. I heard a few uh, songs. I only uh, heard their one single they put out. <clears throat> Lux Dick or Dick Dick and Dick and Lux. Lux Eterna. Lux yeah. Eterna. Yeah, get, I didn't love start, that one. They're starting but. their tour. Oh damn! Uh, okay. Tomorrow, their world tour. Are you I'm just go happy they're still. Are oh, you gonna yeah, go see him this year? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, that'd, that'd be, be that'd be nice. fun. Can, I want to think the guy doing... wearing the Metallica hat on this podcast and go see him live. You yeah, see this dirty liar. hat, boy? I wear this hat every goddamn day. <laughs> that hat is less less and less black every time I see it. <laughs> yeah, it's been <laughs> decoloring. <laughs> is this gonna be white? A <laughs> white on white Metallica yeah. hat? It's just like perfectly white. It just looks brand new. <laughs> Metallica could fart into a microphone for 12 hours and I'd listen to the whole thing. I, I'll go kind of hard, big, actually. I'm yeah. a big fan. I, I'm going to have to go see him again this year because... I've never seen the him. The concert I went saw, it was good, but they just... like Half of it was acoustic and then they played a bunch of songs that they don't like normally play. I want to go yeah. see yeah. him play like one and fucking Justice yeah, for Yeah, you got to go to like a real-ass yeah, show yeah. and get like get front row or something. That's what you can do. <clears> yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the seats I had were terrible because they were like really high up. And they were right in the middle of the fucking aisle, too. So, like, anytime oh. anybody had to get up and move, I was like, ugh. Yeah, that mm-hmm. sucks. Yeah, I, I'd love to go see Metallica. I'm not, like, the biggest Metallica fan, but they are, like, the Beatles of metal. They sound so good live. They are literally they the Beatles of metal. Live. They just they just did so much for the entire genre. Oh, yeah. yeah and I, I don't know. I, 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 again, not, like, the biggest fan of their songs, per se, but... Them as a band is just, they're so fucking cool. Soup, did you ever go see uh, Pantera last year when they were touring? Uh, they're opening for Metallica in their uh, America. I don't, oh, really? I don't know if they're doing it. I don't know what all shows they're doing it at, but I'm going to see them when they're opening for Metallica on this tour. Nice. Imagine and that was like, s- it was out of nowhere. Like They, they dropped uh, the new song. Metallica dropped their new song out of nowhere. They didn't ha- like hype it up or anything. I just got a to. notification. <laughs> Yeah, they, they don't need to. I got a notification. I was like, the fuck is that? And I was like, oh, my God. And then I was like, oh, fuck. And I was, in, I was like, at the bank or something when they dropped it. And so I was, like, sitting in the bank, like, holding my <laughs> phone to my ear, like, trying to listen to it. And I was like, this is so fucking badass. And then uh, I saw, like, I went on Instagram, and uh, I saw that they had Pantera opening for them. And I just shit myself. Because I told myself That's as crazy. a kid, if like, Obviously, because, you know, Dimebag and Vinny are dead. Like, it's not actually fucking Pantera. But if there was ever, like, a any sort of Pantera-esque thing, you know, with, with some of the original members, and if they're playing with Metallica, like, I... Yeah, 100%. Yeah. The fuck? I have to yeah, go to dude. that. Like, I have to go crazy. see that. They're doing, uh, they're doing two nights in the same town that they're playing at. Metallica's doing two nights, and they're doing two different sets each night with... Uh, two different opening bands. Like, oh, that's super cool. So I'm going to see him with Mammoth. Um, I don't. I think that's the name of his band or whatever, Mammoth. But it's uh, Eddie Van Halen's son. It's his band. Oh, it's the uh, opener. Wolfgang or whatever's on yeah, the Wolfgang yeah. Van Halen, and it's him. What a badass uh, Pantera, man. and then Metallica, and then that's Friday night, and then Sunday night. Is Ice Nine Kills, Five Finger Death Punch, and then Metallica, and I was like, "Dude, I have to go fucking." Damn, it's it's dude. two shows like back to back almost. That's crazy. So sick. So I'm I'm stoked. Definitely. Imagine but, isn't how Zach Wild the guitarist have to for Pantera be... right now? Huh? Isn't Zach Wild touring with Pantera? Yeah. Zach Wild? Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! It's so sick. like that's so appropriate. Like I feel like Zach Wild fits. In oh, for that. sure. If yeah, there was anybody cool. to do it, yeah, because he's such like a shred man. machine. So. Well, him yeah, and Dime were always, like, player. friends. They were always hanging out. Like, there's fucking, mm-hmm. like, if you watch any of the old, like, Pantera home videos or and shit, like, yeah. Zach Wilde and Dimebag were, like, buddies always doing dumb shit together. <laughs> so, it just is, you couldn't have picked a better uh, person to do it. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Pantera as an opener is just insane. <laughs> like, that's, yeah. you gotta be, like, crazy successful to be like, yeah, the band opening for us is Pantera. 
Like they're yeah, the right. fucking opener. <laughs> like five finger band, death you know, punch. Like yeah, five just... finger death punch is opening. Yeah, that's for us. insane. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like that Metallica's still like pulling, you know, crowds as big as they used to, if not bigger, still to this yeah, day. It's, you just know so they crazy. love you just know they love playing music because I mean they're fucking like everyone in the band is worth like five hundred million dollars, and they're still yeah. making music, and they're fucking old as shit. Yeah, they, oh. they've made their money. They're just yeah, doing they don't it they, they don't they like need to make money. Like they're just yeah. doing it because they like it, and I I yeah. respect the fuck out of that. Yeah, that's insane. Even though it's not the most technical shit, you know, it's like hey, I mean, it never was. I mean, Metallica has never really been like crazy technique or anything. It's just been this sounds good and. Makes yeah. me feel a certain certain way. It's not going to give yeah. me like a theory boner, but it's it's yeah. good fun to listen to, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. The thing I, I love most about Metallica is they they've kind of relatively kept all the same people. Like they didn't really like yeah, for the most part. Yeah. Like Iron Maiden, uh, I think the only there's only like the only original Iron Maiden guys. Fucking the singer. The Iron Maiden. Yeah. <laughs> The, is Eddie the, the mascot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, I think uh, what's his name? Bruce Dickinson is the only original. I could be wrong about that. Bruce Dickinson. That is a horrible <laughs> last name. It's <laughs> a horrible last name. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's true though. Dickinson. Maybe the guitarist. Is, I don't know. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I don't even know if he was he the original singer oh, of Iron Maiden. No, 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 no. But he was like I take uh, my wife's name at that point. Holy shit! He, he was definitely. Um, <laughs> He was definitely like, like he made their biggest like power slave was Bruce Dickinson. Stop saying it, <laughs> Bruce Dickinson. Dude, he's, actually, he, he's a badass though. He, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he, uh, he's like a pilot. He's just like besides being the singer of Iron Maiden, he's really? a fucking pilot. And I could be getting this wrong because I'm not a super, I'm not super big into Iron Maiden, but I think he flies. Iron Maiden's plane for them oh, to their shows. Have you I seen, think. That's actually fucking have cool. you seen the photo that. of the French? Hold on. I, I'm just going to show you guys. Of the French? I, was like, uh, I ain't <laughs> never seen a French person. <laughs> never. I sure there's, hope not. So there's two president's planes and then Iron Maiden's plane next to them. And it is so funny. Hold on. Uh, oh, yeah. Two president's Delicious. plane. Hold on. I got to show you this image. It's bonger, so bonger. Uh, uh. All right, so it's the the German Chancellor and uh, <laughs> the French President next to the Iron Maiden's plane. Hold on, Let's Ed Force it One. It's Flight Six Six Six. Look how That's big Iron theirs is compared to the other. Oh the French God. one is a little one in in front, and the German <laughs> Chancellor is the closest one. <laughs> That's Dude, so awesome. They yeah. have a massive airplane for damn. No, for, for like what maybe flying 10 people around like the band well they probably have their whole like, crew on there they I could imagine. fly yeah, the yeah. entire state of connecticut on that pitch literally <laughs> dude it's so funny i saw i saw a photo on reddit and i was just dying that their plane is that well like the thing is like i feel like a french chancellor had uh if they had a boeing 747 everyone would be like wow that's so much wasted tax money but you know a rock band doesn't really have to care about how much money they spent on something so they can just buy something. whatever they can afford. Something. Iron, Iron <laughs> Maiden German is, Chancellor got to me. <laughs> something. It, they're <laughs> dumping more smog into the atmosphere in one trip than I could ever in my entire oh, yeah, no. life in my car. Yeah. That thing's Them insane. and Taylor Swift just be fucking yeah. up all the But it's Iron but Maiden. Fine. No, I don't yeah, care. It's, it's just... <laughs> it's funny. I Destroy the planet. Play music. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like two hobbies. Uh. <laughs> Destroying the planet and playing music. I I love a lot of Iron Maiden, but I'm not super. I'm not like a super big Iron Maiden. I am fan. not either. I don't know. There's a, there's, yeah, I feel like stuff. there's there's one side or uh, like two sides to it. It's like, well, I guess not really two sides, but there's like people that sort of like Iron Maiden, and then there's people that are like Iron Maiden, fucking Iron Maiden, like they just like love the everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know some people like that. I used to My really really like them when I was younger, them. but I don't really listen to it much now, honestly. My girlfriend's dad's got like twenty Iron Maiden cups and shit. If I hear anything from Power Slave, I'm gonna fucking sit there and listen to the whole thing. That's valid. Like it's such a good album. But they got some bangers, that's for sure. Yeah, they yeah. definitely got some bangers. I like that we all like the same <laughs> rough type of music. It's it's it, it makes these conversations a lot more enjoyable. Oh, I know. Like if imagine if one of us I was just a big like rap head. It's like like a big Swifty. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll Yummy's kind of like that, out. isn't he? Uh, Yummy's very like. Yeah, He's but super like, into rap. 
I, I, I mean, Yummy and I, I can know. talk about rap a lot. We like a lot of this, like similar hip hop, rap stuff like yeah. that. Yummy and I's music tastes pretty similar, but he also he likes most genres from what he's told me. Like, there's nothing that really? he really doesn't like listening to. He's like always randomly singing Alice in Chains. Oh, I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. He'd just be like, yeah, yeah. motherfucker, here on I come to snap the rooster. I'm just like, <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yummy, yummy's one of us. Yummy is one of the goons. Yeah. Through and through. He's, honorary goon. he's just like trapping out the bins, and he's like, down in a hole. Like, All right, <laughs> <laughs> Valid. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. How long have we been going? Soup, you, is it about that time, gentlemen? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All Soup, right. is it about that time, gentlemen? I meant I don't to know say, who are you addressing? Is, uh, I, will say, I meant to say, Soup, do you want to do the outro? But then I wanted to make sure that we've been over an hour and we have. Look <laughs> at me. You will like and subscribe and use code goons to buy G Sops. I can't control you my use, hands. I'm going to gamersups.com. You will go buy G Sops and put it in your body. Consume the precious liquid of the gamer with code goons. That was awful. See you, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Like and okay. comment, Spotify, right, download you, uh, time. Yeah, Spotify, bye-bye time. You will download on Spotify. You All will right, go to Spotify to and download. One more time? <laughs> One more time? Disconnecting brainwave <laughs> sequence. <laughs>